Windows Azure is software that runs in data centers. There are loads of them around the world, but eight main ones where you run your programs and store your data. You can deploy and run your applications and infrastructure near your customers with a 99.95% uptime service level agreement. With Windows Azure, you pay only for what you use, enabling you to avoid upfront costs and scale as your business grows. You pay on an hourly basis for compute. You don't have to take out a contract or a commitment to a certain number of hours. The cheapest computing is available today for two cents per hour. You pay for storing data and you pay for data transmission charges. If you don't use the storage or the compute, you don't pay for it. The easiest way to get started with a server-based application in Windows Azure is to use a virtual machine, Linux or Windows. Just load the operating system, install your application, and away you go. Windows Azure has a virtual network to allow you to link the resources on your corporate network with the ones you have running in the cloud. For example, you might have an on-premises database and a web-based app running on a virtual machine in Windows Azure. The virtual network allows you to link them together and act as if they're both on the same corporate network with full security. Virtual machines are a great way to get started because you can migrate your existing application so quickly because they're just Hyper-V images. You can copy your VMs from one Azure data center to another or to and from your own data centers. Windows Azure Websites is another feature that lets you build with ASP.NET, Node.js or PHP and deploy them in seconds with FTP, Git or TFS. You can start for free and then scale them up as your traffic grows. There's also built-in support for lots of popular open source web platforms like Drupal and WordPress. With free sites, you share the compute resources that run your site with other Windows Azure customers. Then, as your site becomes more successful, you can move to charged for reserved instances, which gives you your own isolated compute resources to run on. As your site grows even more, you can scale it out and back in sync with the demand, resulting in more or less servers, depending on how busy your site is. Again, you only pay for what you use. Windows Azure Cloud Services let you build infinitely scalable apps and services and supports rich multi-tier architectures. The great thing about cloud services is that you only concentrate on the code. The infrastructure is managed for you. You don't need to set up routers, subnets, VLANs, port filtering, firewalls, load balancers, servers. Even the operating system is automatically patched and maintained for you. You just write your apps, package them up, and send them to Windows Azure Data Center, and the rest of it is taken care of for you. It could be a low-powered simple app you want to run for one hour, or an app that needs 10,000 servers. You decide on the scale and the power you need. Service healing means that even if one of your servers fails, your app continues to run without disruption, and the offending server is automatically reprovisioned. You can write your apps in pretty much any language that runs on Windows, but there's specific support for .NET, Node.js, Java, PHP, Python, and a few others. There's also a database service you can take advantage of. It's based on SQL Server and is known as Windows Azure SQL Database. It means you don't have to run your own database, and your data is saved three times in a data center across different power supplies, battery backup units, network segments, and so on. So it would take the failure of an entire data center for you to lose your data. And if you're worried, you can use DataSync to keep a copy in another Windows Azure data center or even on your own premises SQL servers. There is also storage for files and tables. And this is also written three times in the data center. And by default, a copy is automatically geo-replicated to another data center. You can make part of your server's memory into a cache for your applications. You can even share this across a number of machines or go as far as dedicating a number of servers with large amounts of cache. The identity features allow you to integrate sign-on and identity information with services like Facebook, LiveID, Google, Yahoo. But you can also integrate with your on-premises identity systems like Active Directory. That means you can have your users sign into your local Active Directory as they usually do and have your cloud applications protected and giving single sign-on to the apps. There always seems to be a need to couple applications together in some way. Tightly coupled applications are great, but often you want to separate the flow of information from, say, a web front end and a service back end. 
The Windows Azure Service Bus lets you do this in a controlled and manageable way, allowing you to build loosely coupled applications which are reliable and secure. You can set up queues and even use the Service Bus as a relay. Media services let you create, manage and distribute content. You can target any device or media format and you can also ingest, encode, protect and stream media. There are lots of other application building blocks you can assemble your apps from. A content delivery network with locations all over the world to get your data to where your customers are. A big data solution built on Hadoop. A traffic management solution to route your customers to the most appropriate data center. The building blocks are being added all the time. You can get started with it today. Visit windowsazure.com to learn more, then open a free trial subscription where you'll get these resources free for 90 days to try out. And if you're in the UK, you could try six weeks of Azure. We're confident that Windows Azure will be a good decision.